Hello friends, this is April 14, 2024. I am here in Thailand, Bangkok, up in Grand Central Terminal 21. This is just a vlog video. I'm going to just probably be uploading videos like this and what's going on in my life at the moment. So as you can probably see, I'm in my hotel room. As you can probably guess, I'm in a robe. And I'm up on the highest floor in this five-star hotel. So on the outside looking in, it may look like that I'm living the high life, literally, like with a beautiful cityscape behind me, amazing, uh, or beautiful as it can be, being in the city of Thailand, Bangkok. If, you're, if a concrete jungle tickles your fancy, then this is a pretty good view, which in a past life, uh, when I did, in a past chapter, when I used to do cityscape photography, this was really fantastic. It's surprising to know I actually haven't taken this photograph since I've been here. I've been here for five nights. Uh, in this vlog, it's basically just going to be a ramble. I'm just needing to be able to talk. Essentially, I came out here to, to get away for life, uh, just to change the environment. I think it's very important. Now, I'm not sure who's going to be watching this on YouTube but a video like this is going to be talking about a lot of vulnerabilities. Like I said, uh, behind me, it looks like that I'm living the high life. I'm in a five-star hotel. I'm connected to a shopping mall. Convenience is at 100%. I have everything here provided for me. I even have like robes and this concierge service. However, deep, deep down, I'm living a life of struggle. Things are pretty dark and pretty grim that's happening in my life. And now I don't know how world viewed that is when you see, when we live in the world of digital media and social media, you see everybody living their, their highlighted world, their, their highlights of the world. But deep down behind the camera, there's always something happening in the dark. There's always, the, you can only see the tip of the iceberg and everything that's underneath the waters, it's murky, it's hidden. It's not visible to the world. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about that story because life is pretty shit. Uh, I am more sad than I am happy. And basically, this is just going to be a ramble on, on just a, an inward, outward expression of how it feels on the outside. So, starting from the outside looking in, this place looks fantastic. The, the room is beautiful. I got a king size bed, and it like if people were living this day every single day, they should be happy, right? Like million dollar view behind me. Like I said, if you're into the concrete jungle, people pay a lot of money for this sort of stuff. I've been here for five nights. Yep, my moral compass, my emotional compass, says that. I'm probably the most saddest person in the world. The things that I'm struggling with, actually, is sadness, loss, and loneliness. They're the three emotions that is dominating my life. Despite the fact that I'm traveling and doing what some people consider to be the highest peak of what you can do with your life and time. So what's the moral of this story? What am I suggesting so far? I suggest that life, although we should pursue happiness, or though we should pursue success, although we should always strive to do more, to be better, however, I think what is actually more important is to repair and to maintain. Like, you can have 99 out of 100 good things that are happening in your life. 99 out of 100. But if you have this one bad thing, just one, it can ruin and spoil it all. It's like, what's an analogy that I can use? Just The first thing that just came to my, my mind, like, if you've ever poached eggs... No, that's just weird. It's so random how I've just gone to poaching eggs. 
you can have 99 poached eggs in the bath of water. And everything will look okay if they're all closed. But if you break one yolk, one yolk out of the eggs, it will spoil the entire bath. And you just have to change it all. It will just destroy it all. All it takes is just one negative event to really bring you down. Now let's go into a little bit of the theory and why I think this actually happens. What I've heard is it's an evolutionary process. Our brains are wired for problem solving. Joy and happy, everything that we perceive that makes us happy, like if you make a list of it, like what are they? Make more money, travel, be in a five-star hotel, have the luxuries, have the perks, have the luxuries, have all those really good things that people envy. Have a Lamborghini, have a sports car, have a big house. Sure, they're all great and all, or have the latest gadget, have the latest iPhone that comes out. Sure, that's all good. Have all the likes, have the subscribers. Our brains aren't white for that. They're all kind of, you can almost say, genetically engineered in a word. I can't quite think of the, a better term, but it's been genetically modified. It's not natural, all those things. Or maybe besides the house, like social media followings and, you know, new iPhone, new phone, new device, new gear, new gadget, new camera, traveling. They're all joys of life, which are all fantastic. And I'm not here to mitigate and to say don't have those things definitely go for them they're absolutely fantastic for them. but what i'm suggesting is really work on those areas that are on your dark side because all it takes is one it could be if you look at the pillars of life it could be your health is there something in your health that you're neglecting should it be stop drinking alcohol stop smoking stop taking drugs Start, you know, weight might be an issue, your diet, your nutrition, your sleep. Are those things up to scratch? Because I'll let you know, all it takes is one of those things to be in the wrong, and it can destroy, it will just spoil the poaching bath. It will be like that broken yoke. Or it could be your job. Are you happy with what you're doing? Are you being productive? Are you living up to your potential? Potential? Are you doing? Are you experiencing flow in the value, in the way that you're helping, contributing to the world? Are you being productive in the right direction? How's your relationships? Are you feeling loved? Are you feel? Is that bond being filled? How's your friendships? Are you connecting with the people that are the most important to you? Or is there something that needs to be said? Is there something that you're holding inside you that you know it's not good for you and you need to get it out, but you can't? You have a story, a blocker, a barrier that prevents you from speaking out, saying what needs to be said. Do you need to speak to a family member? Do you need to speak to a friend? Do you need to speak to a business partner? Do you need to speak to your spouse? Do you need to speak to your children? Do you need to mend old ties? Do you need to forgive? Do you need to let go of the past to move on? That's your relationships. So in this vlog, this journal, whatever you may want to call it, what I want you to take away is, although pursue all those things that bring you joy, happiness and love, they're so important in life because it's what makes life worthwhile living. However, if you have areas in your life that needs maintenance or fixing, do your best not to put them off because they'll just keep eating you alive. Like the way that it's doing for me. Now, I haven't really discussed about what's really deep that's going on. 
And it's not that I don't want to, it's more so I don't really know how far this video goes. I, I, I don't think anyone will actually get to this point, but who knows? It, it may do good, it may do bad, it's uncertain. The world is uncertain. So I'm going to leave it there. And if you did get to this point, put down uh, an emoji that describes where you're at and how you're feeling. Are there some, and maybe I encourage you, for those people who want to really show courage, is to put down in the comments below, what are some areas of sadness that you need to fix up? And if you do, I promise I'll write back. And I also want to let you know that you're not alone. I know that sounds cliche, but I say that you're not alone, that you are not the only person in the world that is experiencing what you're experiencing. Although the story might be unique and original, but the feelings are all the same. If the feeling is sad, loneliness and loss, definitely I resonate with you, my friend. And I just want to let you know that I feel those feelings too, and you don't have to feel them alone. Friends, I hope you're doing well and that you're keeping yourself safe. And remember, take care of yourselves and work on those areas because all it takes is one bit of sadness, one piece of negative news to really spoil that poaching bath. See you next time, friends.